Hello everyone, your favorite retired streamer, Wolfie here, coming at you with another one. Now in this one, we're going to be going over how to stream from your Xbox One onto YouTube without a capture card or anything like that. All that you'll need to stream using this method is some kind of mobile device. So like some kind of smartphone, that'll work perfectly fine or possibly a tablet that can work as well. So only thing you'll need for this method is a mobile device. Now I have done something a little similar to this in the past, but this one's going to be sort of like an updated version to that. And I'll be going over some things people have been saying in the comments on that video as well. So certain people have been saying this is outdated, it doesn't work anymore and so forth. So we're going to be going over it here in this video today. But before we do jump into it, a quick intro about me for anyone that may be new around here. Uh, I mentioned retired streamer. I actually used to be a full-time streamer on Twitch.tv. I did it for quite a few years, actually. I was a full-time streamer, and that's sort of how I was making my living. And before I stopped streaming, I had roughly around 30,000 followers. So just a quick about me there and where I come from, my background, when it comes to streaming and all that. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump right on into it here. How to stream on YouTube from Xbox One. Okay, here we go. So we're on the app and game screen right here. And now the first thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to hit the Xbox button, which is at the very top of the controller. So let's hit that. And after hitting that, we're going to want to go over to the right. We're going to go once and then twice. So now we're going to be on broadcast and capture. So we're going to go ahead and press A on that. So let's do that right now. And it'll say preparing your broadcast and there'll be a little wait here. And then you'll be brought to this panel right here. So we have a few options here and you may want to play around with these depending. So the options you may want to play around with are microphone and then a camera. Now they're not available to me right now because I don't have those plugged in at the moment. Right now I don't have a mic plugged in nor a camera. But if you do have those plugged in, those options, you'll be able to turn them on. And this depends on whether you want a mic and camera on this way. There's another way that you can use a mic and camera with this method of streaming. And I'll get to that in a bit. But if you want to turn those on, you can. And the camera will be wherever you set it to be. You have the option of moving it around if you like. If you look at the bottom, it says positioner. Clicking on that will allow you to go into a setting where you can actually move your camera around. Let me go ahead and show you what it looks like. So we clicked on it, and then if we go down just a little bit right here, change camera settings, and we have the option of moving our camera around wherever we'd like to move it on the screen. So that's how you can turn on your camera and microphone from here if you'd like. And the microphone it goes into your controller. There's a little slot on the bottom, a little plug, you can put it in there and it'll work as you're streaming. Now the chat option, you're probably going to want to keep that off. Don't worry, chat will be on on your YouTube stream, but for this part right here, you're going to want to set it to off. The other two though, it's up to you whether you want to turn those on or not by plugging in a mic and a webcam, but if you do not turn them on, know that you'll have another way of turning them on as we get a little further into this video here. So, so once you're ready to go, you're going to want to hit start broadcast. Now I'm not going to do that right now. I'll do it in a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and skip to the next step and then we'll come back to this and we'll hit start broadcast here. So for the next step, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to grab your mobile device and I've got mine right here, my mobile device. So grab your mobile device, turn it on, and then go ahead and head on into the store. Now you're not going to be buying anything, so no worries there. All right, so here we are now, and as you can see, I'm in the store. So what we're going to want to do is we're actually going to want to download a couple of things. Now the first one, let's go ahead and click on the bar, and we're going to put in Mixer. So M-I-X-E-R. 
and we're going to click on Mixer Interactive Streaming. So let's click on that. And once you click on that, you'll be brought to this screen right here. So we're going to go ahead and click Install once we're on this screen. So we want to download and install this app right here. So just give it a little bit of time to do that. And while that's going on, we can go ahead and open up the next one. So let's go back and in our search bar now, what we're going to do is we're going to be putting in YouTube and we'll have our choices show up and YouTube gaming is actually what we're going to want to choose on this one. So YouTube gaming and go ahead and install that. As you can see, I already have it installed, so I don't need to do that, but don't worry. I did reset everything. So pretty much factory settings on all these apps right here. So it'll, this is pretty much what it'll look like for you when you're doing this. All right. So now that we have those two downloaded and installed, what we're going to do is we're going to back out and then we're going to go into the YouTube app that we just downloaded. All right. So once you're in the YouTube gaming app, what you're going to want to do now is you're going to want to log in on the account that you'd like to stream on YouTube on. So in the upper right corner, just go ahead and click on the icon there and enter your information, which will allow you to log in. All right. Now that you've logged in, you're ready for the next step. So I'm actually going to go back over to my Xbox now and where we left off at, I'm going to go ahead and hit start broadcast. So here I am now and I'm back in my Xbox. So now we're going to hit start broadcast. So first things first, make sure you start a game. We're going to go ahead and start this right here. And then from here, I'm going to hit the home button on my controller and then I'm going to go up over to the right again back to set up broadcast and I'm going to hit start broadcast. And there you go. You see at the top there, we have a bar. That means our broadcast has started that red light. That's what that means. If we're not on YouTube yet, but we'll get there. So now that we've done that, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go back to our mobile device now. So on my mobile device, I'm going to want to go into my mixer app. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so here we are now in our Mixer app, and you may have a screen that's a little different. That's okay. You can just back out of that and open up the app again, and it should take you to the front page of Mixer, or you can go through that one. That's up to you if it's your first time using the Mixer app. So now I'm going to go ahead and hit the search button in the upper right, and I'm going to go ahead and search for my username. So for you, it's going to be your username, whatever that may be. It showed you it when we were on the previous screen. It lets you know what the name was. There was a mixer.com slash and then your username. That's what you're going to want to search for in the Mixer app here right now. So I'm going to be searching for mine and we know what mine is. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, let's hit enter. And mine is right here. So I'm going to click on my stream. And now that I've clicked on it, you can actually see my stream here right now. Now, this is a privacy screen that shows up whenever you go into your menu. That's why you see this at the moment. I'm in the menu on my Xbox. That's what this is right here. So once you have this screen, everything's going good so far. You're almost there. Just one last thing to do. So now what we're going to do now that we have this up and running just fine, we're going to go ahead and go into our YouTube gaming app again. All right. So now we're in our YouTube gaming app here and we're going to click this arrow at the top of the screen with waves coming out of it on the upper right. So we're going to click on that arrow. And then once we click on that, We'll have this notification here, mobile capture. So let's go ahead and hit next on that. And now we'll have these options right here. It'll say video format 720p HD and then 480p SD. Now, which one works here depends on your internet connection and how much memory your phone has available on it. 
if you try 720 and 720 isn't working too well for you or possibly your phone doesn't have enough memory for it, your mobile device, then go ahead and try 480 and then that should fix it right there. So I'm going to go ahead and hit next on this screen. And then after hitting next, you'll have this notification here, just a few tips. Your live stream is public and it reminds you that anyone watching your stream will be able to see notifications that do pop up on your phone. So just be aware of that when you're streaming using this method. Whatever notification pops up on your mobile device will be seen by anyone who is watching your stream. So I'd recommend turning outside notifications off. That way people who are watching your stream aren't able to see them. And then at the bottom it lets you know that this can capture your game audio. So we're gonna go ahead and hit next. And then after hitting next, we'll be brought to this screen here, which says select app. So now we're going to want to click on our mixer app. And then after doing that, we have add stream info. And this is the title and description of our stream. So what people will see when they're searching through streams on YouTube, the title, and then the description is just basically a description of what your stream's about. You can put anything you like in there. You could leave it blank if you like as well, but it's nice to give people an idea of what it is your stream is about. So I'm just going to go ahead and put in test stream here. And we'll hit enter. And now I'm going to go ahead and hit next. So after hitting next, go ahead and hit next again. So now it'll say YouTube Gaming will start capturing everything that's displayed on your screen. So let's hit start now. So once you hit start now, you'll be brought to this screen here. And this is the Mixer app now. Now you'll see that my camera on my phone is actually turned on and the same will happen for you. So to turn that off, you'll see there's a camera icon in the upper left corner of the screen. If you click on that, that'll turn off the camera on your phone. So we've clicked on that and you can see we now have our channel icon there. So you're going to want to make that smaller because that's actually pretty big. So to make that smaller, as it will show up on your stream, on the right corner of the screen, the upper right, there's a cog icon. So we're going to click on that, and then we have a slider on the right side. So let's go ahead and slide that all the way down to the left, and you'll see that our icon got a lot smaller there after doing that. So now we're going to go ahead and hit back, and then once we hit back, in the center of the screen, you'll see an option which says tap to stream. So let's go ahead and click on that right now. All right, so now our stream is currently live on YouTube. So what you want to do, we're still in the Mixer app here. We're going to go up to the very top of the app, and there's a bar at the top. What you want to do to get rid of that is click on your icon. And then after clicking on that, click on the search. So now we're going to search for our channel. So I'm going to search for mine, and you're going to want to search for yours. Mine is actually right over here. And if you're wondering what is your channel or how do you find it, it was actually listed on your Xbox right above where the option was to start the stream from your Xbox. So just take a look over there if you're unsure of what it is. So now as you can see here, I have the option to follow and watch stream. So I'm going to select watch stream. And then once I do that, I'll see my stream right up there. So if we turn it sideways, that will allow us to full screen this. So now that we've turned it sideways to full screen, click on the screen and slide it down. And then once we do that, it'll be completely full screen at that point. And there we go. That's how you stream on YouTube from your Xbox One. Now, when you're ready to end your stream, what you're going to want to do is click on your little icon in the corner and that'll give you the drop down again. And in the middle of the screen, there's a box. Clicking on that will stop your stream. So when you're ready to do that, just click that button and that'll be the end of your broadcast. Now you'll also need to go onto your Xbox and then from there, you're gonna wanna hit stop broadcast. 
go over to the right once, once more, click on broadcast, and then from here we're going to hit stop broadcast, and that will end our stream once we do that. And there we go, that's how you can stream on YouTube from Xbox One. Now if this video helped you out, I'd appreciate it so much if you could leave a like and subscribe. I'm Wolfie, and I'll see you next time. Bye.